Good morning, viewers, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I am sorry we are late because of some technical glitch which we have learned during this pandemic time. So uh, I really apologize for that. Uh, but not with standing that, I am once again with you uh, with my another episode uh, with a, another wonderful personality with me. And uh, as I always say that uh, this uh, program or this show is for uh, winning life like a warrior. The warrior doesn't mean that you have to every time go to the battlefield and fight with the weapons. Here, what I mean is that, that you have to fight the demons within you. And the demons are your self sabotaging traits, your limiting beliefs, the negative thoughts, fear of failures. If these are the some of the demons, if you can fight within yourself, you can win the life like a warrior. And under this, uh, uh, situation, I have made a framework which I call it a warrior. So the warrior, the W starts how you can win your mindset. Then A is that you should have an attitude of gratitude. And the R is that you should remove the clutter from your life. The clutter could be your physical clutter, emotional clutter. It could be your digital clutter. And then finally, the next R is you, after having done all these three steps, you should reinvent yourself. And then I is you should inspire the people and you should get inspired by the people. And the letter O is that overcome your procrastination in the life. If you can do so, I am telling you the battle is won. And then finally, the R, next last R is after having done all these six steps, you are reaping the rewards of time invested on, which I call it roti, the return on time invested. So with this uh, definition of the warrior in my way, let me just tell you that today the warrior which I have got on my show is a person who is the founder of Noida Film City, who is the seven wonders, I must say, is the seven wonders which we keep hearing. He is the seven world record holder. He is the first person who has created a film uh, a city in North India and the film is pulled in the North India. What not? Means he has done so much for us in North India that it's incomparable. But of course, there is a lot of effort behind that. So let me welcome uh, Mr. Dr. Marwa, Sandi Marwaji, who is iconic, who is unprecedented person in this North India. Welcome, Mr. Marwa, on behalf of me and my viewers. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you very much for inviting me to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Marwaji. Uh, to start with Marwaji, uh, I would like to start from that, Marwaji, you were born and brought up in a very humble family, like all of us in a middle class family. But right from the beginning, because of your upbringing, because of your parental uh, upbringing and uh, schooling and all, you have shown the very wonderful leadership quality right from the beginning. So uh, would you like to share something of your schooling uh, time and your bringing up in the uh, North India? Well, uh, I should go back to my school days. Yeah, this is yes. a way... And I'm a product of Sardar Patel Vidhyalaya and I passed out from that school, one of the finest schools in India. Uh, I've learned a lot in my school because uh, the school is a very Indianized. Uh, the education is blended with culture and probably that's the reason that uh, anyone and everyone who's a pass out of this school, uh, they have a lot of love for their nation, a lot of regard, respect for their culture. And probably I am just one of them and I have uh, learned a lot the, the right ways, the Indian ways of uh, upbringing at my home as well as in my school uh, actually made me uh, a, a better person, that much I can say. When I, I was I, in college, I think uh, uh, same thing prevailed. Uh, my teachers were very good. Uh, imagine uh, uh, spending 11 years in Sardar Patel Vidhyalaya, spending another three years in Bhagat Singh College. So you yes. can well imagine uh, I was uh, absolutely in a real environment where I've been learning about the leaders of this country, about all they have done for the nation, how this 
the uh, country has, has managed to get the independence. So all that has been actually part of our upbringing. Wonderful. And, wonderful. and that, that has made me probably a better person. Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, uh, if I'm not wrong, I read somewhere that in the second, uh, he was such a brilliant person, uh, viewers, you must understand that in second class itself, he was supposed to be upgraded into the third class. Means he got uh, two jumps uh, because of his uh, caliber, because of his brilliance. And uh, of course, uh, uh, the parental guidance, the support which he always uh, got it from his parents. Uh, Mawaji, uh, I uh, uh, read somewhere or heard somewhere that uh, in the 11th class, you uh, probably missed topping your school by one mark with your competitor. And that competitor, if I'm not wrong, was Ajna Bhatnagar. And that, because of that burning desire, that because of uh, positive competitive spirit, that day you decided that come what may, I will excel throughout my life. And I think you have shown that uh, commitment or the consistency uh, till date. And such kind of commitment taking uh, from one incident and following that throughout your life is commendable. Would you like to say something? Very right, very right. Uh, this is exactly my 11th board exam. Th those days it used to be 11th actually. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and I missed uh, having my name on the school board by only one number. Uh, and, and that was a kind of a, 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 a resentment which I yeah. developed within my own self that now I will never be number two. I have to be number one. And uh, I made it a point after that that whatever I'm going to do, I must capture the top seat of that particular department, section, uh, uh, whatever it is. And, and that actually brought a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of positivity. I'm not, not from any negative point of view at all. Yes. Um, yes. We were all good friends. Yes. And it doesn't matter if my name wasn't there. But that was a kind of a, uh, that time, you know how, it, how we, we were all kids. Yes. But, then, and, but then that instance has brought lot of energy and positivity into my mind that in fact, you, in fact, you have to work hard and you have to be on the top. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that is what you learn from one incident that be patient in your result, but work aggressively means in work, you should be aggressive, whereas the for result and the patient. And I know that uh, some of the qualities which have been ingrained in you, uh, like your mother has given you the patience and perseverance, whereas your father has given you that how to identify a person and how to work with. That is also, I think, some of I'll, the things. I'll rather, I'll rather correct it that uh, the patience and the uh, the soberness and the, the the quality to be down to earth, I've learned from my father. Okay. And, uh, and the zest, enthusiasm, um, uh, and uh, uh, hard work I learned from my mother. Uh, and uh, uh, together, I think I've been able to catch the best of the qualities from my parents, and I have used them actually. It's not that I only heard and uh, heard stories, and but I try to actually execute those things into my own life. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So thank you for correcting. But ultimately, it made amalgamation of the all wonderful qualities which are needed for a uh, uh, successful person or the achiever, or you can say the leader, and. Uh, I believe viewers, you must have understood what all you need to succeed. He said patience, he said perseverance, he said uh, hard work, commitment, consistency, all it was needed to make uh, Mr. Mawa. Mawaji, uh, I know that uh, you were very passionate about uh, your art, culture, theater, right from the beginning, your childhood, your uh, college, and you have been very consistently following on these things. Thereafter, once you have completed a graduation, uh, at one point of time when you uh, started working or looking for the uh, assignments and the job, your uh, father suggested that son, uh, uh, this theater is okay so long as you it is your hobby, but do something else to earn a living because this may not give you a lot of uh, finances, financial freedom. And I believe uh, that point of time, your dad might be absolutely right. And you 
listen to him. That is another wonderful thing that some people don't listen. Otherwise, their parents and they go their own way. So you listen to him and then you created the wonders. Would you like to say something on that? Yeah, it's very important to be obedient son of your family uh, because uh, you have to believe in your parents and you have to trust what they say because I have learned that nobody can be more serious about your career and your character and your life more than your own mother and father, Absolutely. which is very important. And I uh, and and many times even 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 those days, my friends they they, they had their own ways uh, and uh, wills to do whatever they wanted to do. Um, no doubt, in school and college, I was deeply involved into creative activities. But the only thing why people or my parents never stopped me because I was also good in my education, in my studies. And I used to get good numbers and I used to be uh, on the top of all my creative activities that there's been a music, a theater, a recitation, a location, essay writing, uh, a theater, any, anything and everything what you can think of in school and colleges. But then uh, when my father told me that, yes, uh, he had obviously much more experience than what I had in those days. And uh, he cautioned me that uh, you're getting into theaters and there is not much money in India in theater unless and until you are in UK or USA. And, uh, and, and, and you have to earn your living because you have to prove your worth before even you get married. <laughs> uh, yes. you know how, how Indian systems are there, how middle class family thinking is there. And um, so that's how I got into, I, I started chartered accountancy. I, I did for one year. I left it. I did company secretary for one year. I left it. I <laughs> did my, uh, 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 after my BCom honors, I did my MCom. I did my administrative law. I Ooh. did my taxation. But I had a lot of interest in taxation and a chartered accountancy and things like that. When I did all this, then I realized that the, the syllabus of chartered accountancy and whatever I have so far uh, have completed is almost same, except they, they, that you just have to pass out from a, uh, a, a C exam. That's all. So I was actually a, almost like an ITP income tax practitioner. Mm, and uh, mm, then my father also guided me. He says, probably is better you have a, a, a business uh, aptitude, you should get into business, start a business, because if you can do well in life, you can always hire a CA. You will spend five years in completing CA. Uh, so probably you'll spend another four years. Uh, so you, you have learned the ways, you have understood the job of a CA. Now it's better you start a business. And that's how I got into starting my own manufacturing uh, and export of daris and carpets. Uh, there, I, I had a lot of interest in that. And that business uh, uh, brought a lot of confidence, a lot of uh, uh, tourism in my life. I started moving to Agra, Gawalia, Jaipur, Kashmir, Badoi, Mirzapur, you know, all those stations where Indian carpets are being manufactured. And uh, I learned this art of making carpets. I started my factory of making daris. I started a brand of my own uh, with the uh, ultra modern uh, designed daris and carpets, which became very popular. And then I started exporting them. And that gave me another wonderful opportunity to fly to Europe and fly to foreign countries. And I uh, went abroad. So I must have not made any money. But then I know that, that I learned a lot. I had a wonderful exposure in 1980. First time I flew down to London, uh, to UK, and then to Euro Europe. I took a Euro rail, moved around the whole Europe. Me and my brother, I was only 20 year old that time. Mm -hmm. And that gave me a lot of confidence, new ideas, a wonderful exposure, uh, and a, definitely a, a, a huge confidence to come back and do something much bigger and better than this. Absolutely. And that's how Absolutely. I uh, yeah. got back into business. <laughs> yeah. In fact, uh, Mahavaji, the few pointer which I will take from this uh, dialogue of yours, firstly, that what your dad said that if you become a leader or if you become a businessman and if you create something of your own, then you can hire the CAs. Rather than doing the CA, you can hire the CAs. So that's a wonderful learning for becoming a leader or uh, becoming a successful person. You don't have to have a, all kinds of qualifications. What you need, something different, the life skills, which you got it once you got into this 
your business and moved around the uh, world. And from there, uh, I must say that you came back with your context got widened. So sometimes yes, the I... context, context is more important than the content. And with that context, once you came back, you decided that you will do something different. What is that context which expanded and then you did different? No, my father beautifully explained me. He says, uh, uh, you have the qualities of an entrepreneur. And entrepreneur is a word which has derived from Sanskrit, okay. which means uh, antarprerna. Oh. Entrepreneur is antarprerna. Okay. He asked me, what do you feel like? I mean, yes. don't yes. get carried away with the circumstances or a friend's advice or, yes. or, or, or a, a very momentary decisions. Think yeah. what you feel like from inside. Then yes. I express and say, I want to do something big, something of my own, where I can actually uh, guide uh, and, and, and behave like a leader or behave like a, 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 a designer or a thinker or a planner or a visionary. And then he said, yes, you're meant for uh, a better and a bigger business. So if, even if you have to change your line, uh, after uh, even establishing myself into dharis and carpets. So uh, go ahead. There is no harm. There's no harm. So ultimately, my heart, my soul, my thinking, and my love was no other than the creative arts. And I wanted to come back to creative arts. And that's how in 1986, after spending almost uh, five, six years in different businesses, I came back to the my own first love, which is creative yeah. arts, cinema, theater, uh, you know, events. This is all, all because everything is all so closely related. You cannot uh, 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 differentiate between this department. I started with a small news agency in Khan Market, oh. and I put it uh, with two cameras, two editing tables, and oh. I. I uh, uh, so, uh, used to, I used to be a, a, a stringer for Doordarshan because there used to be only one channel. And that's oh. how I, I started learning about the, uh, the camera operations, the editing operations. The, uh, the best part is that uh, uh, you, you, you got to know a lot many politicians. And, uh, and, and many times uh, I used to get the most VVIP assignment of covering prime minister, presidents, oh. the ministers, the foreign delegations. Uh, you know, that, that's how I, I started learning more about the foreign affairs, that uh, uh, how, how the work, India is working, how the politicians, they work, how the uh, country is expanding and how uh, uh, the uh, political affiliations and associations, they, they develop a nation. And that gave me that two, three years gave me quite a, a wonderful exposure to this side of the business. But then... Obviously, in between, in between, um, I had a wonderful offer to be a, the lead person in a feature film, and uh, oh. I skipped everything and I went to Bombay. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, for, okay. For trial, and, and luckily, I signed three films with the three oh. leading heroines of that time. Oh, and uh, but the best part is can we, that can we uh, can we know I, who are the leading heroines? Oh, I don't even remember the names. Okay, Forget okay, it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But the only the sad part, the sad part of the whole affair was the producer, Mr. Reddy, who was from South India. Unfortunately, okay. he passed away. He, when oh. he passed away, the family dropped the idea of actually producing the films. And okay. I had to cut a sorry figure and I came back to Delhi. Now, okay. by this time, by this time, my, my love, my passion, my interest... And uh, 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 um, burning my, desire. My, my total burning desire and my inclination only was towards films, television, media, art and culture. I so, so this time I, I decided that I must uh, do something uh, different. Yes. And that was a time way back now in 1986 when I designed this film city, Noida, uh, and, and, and started working on this project. But it was so sad that uh, nobody uh, was so, ready to uh, listen to Mahabharya, this. Sorry to inter I will come back to this point because it's a very important point. Let me summarize to the viewers. Ladies and gentlemen, you must understand that how much he had struggled. 
you see he started on the recommendation of his father uh, with the dhariz and carpet business he got a whole lot of experience how the business is run thereafter he opened a, a small shop in the khan market where he started doing the news and other thing and got uh, uh, collaborated with the doordarshan and thereafter then he got an offer and won, uh, went to mumbai so he collected whole lot of experience of media crafts and business and thereafter he got an idea once he came back from mumbai why not to get mumbai into delhi and that is where he conceived the idea in fact this is the point which i wanted at what turning point he developed this idea of creating film city in the north india and he has very clearly brought out that why he had thought on those line so uh, mama ji you were trying to tell that uh, this project issue i have read somewhere that when you have created on paper this idea of creating a film city in north india because the mumbai you came back from there and then you had that uh, what you call the um, uh, very uh, again i must say the burning desire ki aap why should i go to mumbai something should be there in the north india correct and with that you uh, prepared the paper your ideas put on uh, reduced to the uh, writing and then went to the people in delhi now when you went to the people in delhi delhi people decision makers administrator they refused to accept that and they call you by names they call you foolish they call you crazy they call you mad people and uh, they thrown the files uh, and shown you the exit door my only question out here is with so much of struggle you have already gone through how did you control your emotions at that point of time and still remain positive towards your idea continue to have that self belief after having done so much of uh, rejection from the people which is very important part of any successful entrepreneur you know the most important thing is that first of all let me tell you i have never i never say i wasted time i never say that i Uh, 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 I, I was not successful. I feel that I was rather better and fully successful because I learned from every angle. Absolutely, I learned being, uh, by learning C A, uh, chartered accountancy, company secretary, M Com, administrative income, everything I am been using now. My every bit of education I am using right now. When I got into manufacturing of carpets and dhuris, I had a, such a wonderful and tremendous experience of dealing with people who are weavers who are staying in huts, and people who are um, 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 owners of multinational company in Europe. I mean, imagine the range of a kind of a people I've been interacting with. It gives me so much of confidence. It gives me so much of uh, learning how to tackle, yes. how to deal with. different sort of people different kind of a people on this earth when i did my uh, theater professionally i learned how to be confident on the stage i learned how to speak i learned how to uh, uh, mug up things how to remember things and then i when i went to mumbai i also learned that nothing moves without patience uh, if yes. you don't have a patience you can't even utter a one line in cinema absolutely so yeah for one one single line for as an actor you have to wait for 8 8 hours sitting back in makeup room with a full makeup on your face and and wearing all those costumes which are required for the cinema and then you get an opportunity to speak one line at the end of the day you need that kind of patience to be successful in life it's a but when i was i was in bombay i realized that probably so much time you have to spend to be an actor i had little more energy to do something more than this and i realized that i can do bigger and better because acting is just one part of the whole indian film industry absolutely, absolutely. so this is how i a uh, thought of coming back to delhi and plan something big something better something which is not yet happened in this part of the country and that's how i thought of a starting a film city and you're right people gave me a wonderful adjectives i never bothered i had a very strong determination and a very strong intuition and i was very clear in my vision that yes, yes there is a need of a film city in this part of the country because i learned that when i was in bombay i learned most of the people who are working in, even in mumbai indian film industry they all have come from north 
and they yes. have they have created a wonderful place for themselves into sure, the absolutely. western part of the country and in, in indian bollywood industry and why can't we have the same setup here and why not yes so yes. this is how i started thinking but then idea was of starting a film city to attract people from all over india to give opportunity to all those people who are looking for opportunity in north india and also to generate new set of business in this part of the country yes and i i never i never thought uh, beyond that for that time but i was sure that the, even this has been done is going to bring lot of uh, culture activities lot of uh, happenings lot of film television and media business into this part of the country and 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 things will move and i'll get involved with my own uh, uh, my interest and with my own passion absolutely the mawa ji has been very kind i must say that nahi nahi mawa ji the few things which uh, uh, you are should take away from your this uh, conversation is that whatever might be the obstacles obstacle is the path so mawa ji created the path from those obstacles whether rejection by the people or another thing but he never got uh, cow down by those issues because he had a 100% belief in his idea and he knew that some day the universe will conspire to help him to get the right persons at the right time and that is the time you came across uh, chairman of noida authority and where you uh, explained your idea and he got convinced baba ji we would like to know that what point how did you come across firstly uh, mr uh, chairman of noida authority and when he asked you to prepare that uh, project report in 1986 if i'm not wrong uh, what was your reaction what was your feeling after having gone through so much for last five four five years no i had already approached different uh, organizations like delhi administration lndo dda mcd uh, uh, delhi uh, government nobody paid heed to what i am talking for them it was like a one foolish suggestion and uh, uh, probably crossed from the head and nobody paid interest to it now i was standing right now at the shop my brother's shop in kham market and okay. uh, and my brother immediately pin pointed that this man is the chairman of noida authority why oh. didn't you why didn't you talk to him oh and then i jumped on him and he was actually buying music at uh, uh, our shop and then uh, i immediately said sir i have a wonderful idea for your authority he says what and then i started explaining him i mean i could see a a swag smile on his face and being a, a senior is officer out of his office yes. probably he never showed his excitement there but he said it's nice but come and meet me in my office oh. that was uh, and that was good enough because from yes. being rejected from so <laughs> many offices and suddenly one officer says that you come and meet me in my office yes. it was like a lighting of a lamp <laughs> yes 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 the next one or two days when i took an appointment went to him and explained and expressed him about the whole project trust me he was overwhelmed with the idea he says oh, what an idea and the best part is that we are looking for new ideas we have the land and we want this kind of a project in noida film city noida uh, authority yes. and uh, then then after few days i formally submitted the whole project that project uh, was submitted by noida authority to the up government in lucknow uh, that time the late veer bahadur singh who was the chief minister okay. to my good luck even he was very fond of uh, indian cinema okay. and uh, the project got its clearance though it took almost one year for the Absolutely. whole project because Absolutely. it had to go through the finance department it had to go through the culture department through this department through that department but at the end of the day because uh, there was a willingness there was a uh, uh, political will for that whole project it got its clearance uh, 86 december i submitted 87 december i got this beautiful news that film city Let's in noida has been cleared oh my god i couldn't believe the words when noida authority called me up he says mubarak ho aapka jo project tha wo pass ho gaya hai i i was almost uh, almost <laughs> <in> tears <laughs> uh, 
बिकॉज समथिंग विच वॉज गिवन टू यन इम्प्रेशन दैट इट इज नेक्स्ट टू इम्पॉसिबल कि आप यू ट्राइंग टू टेक अ रॉकेट टू मून विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर अ बॉय लाइक यू एंड विच हैपन आई मीन लाइक इट वॉज इट वॉज फॉर मी आई वॉज ऑन द मून एक्चुअली absolutely 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 it means and then obviously large number of formalities and large number of paperwork which was required absolutely uh, by the authority by the allottees and the formalities what you know how it is uh, but then at least i was sure that my first step is cleared uh mama ji here i would like to bring out one point that uh, which proves a point uh, for the people who wanted to succeed in life that if your intentions are correct yes. if your hard work is there if your uh, uh, focused idea is there the universe also help you and Watch how it help uh, marwa ji is that the chairman happened to be the next to his uh, brother's uh, shop and he pointed to him that he is the chairman and he uh, grabbed the opportunity so the, uh, always it is said that there are infinite opportunity it is you have to grab it and universe will always conspire to help you and that is what done and just one moment of change that he happened to speak to him convincingly and the rest is the history am i right marwa ji absolutely yeah so uh, i think 88 you got the land allotted uh, if i am not wrong and then the uh, rest the thing happened the things were not that easy trust me because when i know i know of course when, when the time came for allotment of land the nadal authority started propagating about the film city and trust me nobody was interested in film city in noida okay. because people they never heard about a name called noida people never wanted to come to up because up had not a that very good reputation that time and mm. uh, and this area people were afraid that there yes. are a lot of i mean Elite trade people stay there, and this is kind of a thing. Nobody paid heed. I mean, it was shocking. So m- 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 me, another authority officers, we all went to Bombay, Calcutta, Madras, and Delhi. Propagated about the film city. Now the film city is coming. Apply for it. Apply for it. Apply for it. Nobody was keen even in for applying for it. because there was no comment. Noida people never heard. People used to say, "Oh, Noida, Noida means no idea." this is a kind of a uh, um, uh, response we used to get it and in fact, uh, fact marwa ji that is the one reason somewhere you have mentioned that bhagirathi brought the ganga from the top to bottom from mountain to the plain and here you were bringing this bhagirathi from opposite reverse flow of the this thing somewhere from bombay to the north india which is 1000 feet higher than the no, plain so <laughs> uh, that uh, statement you may like to qualify very right this is what i said i said the job of bhagirathi was much easier because he had to bring the water from the hills to the plains and in my case it was the other way around i had to bring the sea water from from a sea level to a thousand feet height of a new delhi so it was other way around so it was much tougher and when the time for allotment started coming in on all these uh, to so called uh, i brought i brought this top notch filmmakers uh, to noda authority to please come and apply for it and it's going to be a a wonderful uh, setup can you imagine my name was deleted from the allotment and okay. the, the new the new administration came the new setup came the new officers were there uh, during uh, this whole time you know how government uh, they changes officers and this yeah, time yes. the new officers started asking me who you are oh What, and why why should we allot you you are you, you are not known to the world you are not okay. a film film star oh my, oh my god. god i say this is a new story <laughs> 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 so i had to i had to reconvince the whole authority that this is my project i started this i pursued for one year i this is my idea i conceived this idea how can you ignore me <laughs> oh my god what it and then they were adamant they say no we, we don't we don't know you mm-hmm. and then then i then i had to challenge them i say if there is going to be a film city with me or there is going to be no film city i'm sorry i will not let this city come because this is i worked for it for many 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 hours many many days many many weeks and many years 
I mean, thank God they realized a little later. And then they say, okay, we will try. Because my point of view that time was that why only a filmmaker uh, uh, yes. is to be allotted land in Film City? Where is the role of newcomers? Where is the yes. role of youth? Where is the yes. role of people who want to jump into new business? Thank God our Prime Minister now has realized what startup is all about. Yes. How, how to promote uh, youngsters to come up and start new business and government is supporting them in and out. And this was yes. not there during 1988. Achoo, and just because you didn't have a credential of being in the films and this thing and they wanted to uh, uh, ignore you. It's very sad part of it. Very sad part of it. And, oh, this is uh, what the uh, real... Uh, and imagine this was a second struggle for me for a few days. Absolutely. I, 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 I had to struggle. I had to prove myself that who I am. And, and, and imagine because I was carrying that pain till, yes. till I started my academy. Yes. And that, that was one of the reasons that I started a film school where I said that I have an opportunity to come into cinema. I will give opportunity to thousand people to come into this business. I got into, uh, I'll talk about you in, in a minute again. But this is how, so you, her kadam par, aap ko jo hai, koi na koi roda, pathar, nadi, nala, pahad, kanta, kankar, mil jayega, chubne ke liye. Or phir mere ko ye, I had to believe in this, that the life is this, Every yes. step you have to be more than cautious to clear that chapter to become a successful person. Absolutely. And absolutely. the minute you ignore, yeah. one step you ignore, you had it, your, the whole efforts, what you have put in, put in for years together will go waste. One wrong step if you've taken. That is, that is the reason, uh, Mahabaji, that out of 100%, only 1% people succeed. Because 99% people, they just give up because of these obstacles. So that commitment and consistency and that failing and then getting up again, moving forward, failing and getting up and moving forward. That is the only way to success, whatever you have thought of your idea. And you have proved that, that despite these obstacles, you created the path through those obstacles and you realize that, that life is this only. And this is what the life journey of the life is moving through the obstacles and creating the path because end goal is not there. It's a journey. And the why, uh, uh, Marwaji, finally the universe also gave you, uh, be, be, uh, be with you uh, all the time because your noble intention was to help or impacting the millions, which you realize that like me, that others should not suffer. Why should they should not have that kind of education? Uh, uh, so that they also make a career in the film. Why not the, only the film people should make a career in the film or their uh, office spring should make it. And you had that novel thought to impact the millions this side of the people who just think but they do, uh, because of the resources they can't go uh, uh, Bombay or other places. And since because of this thought only you succeeded and all the way you are su succeeding. Wonderful Marwaji. It's a very creditable uh, thought and uh, finally you created the history. Mahavaji, uh, this showed your uh, kind of uh, mindset, uh, the way you have thought of and mindset is nothing but a collection of your thinking, collection of your thought, that is the mindset. And the thoughts basically leads to your feelings and feelings leads to your emotions and finally the emotions leads to your uh, outcomes and actions and the finally the result. And the once the result is there, again you start thinking, again that feeling, emotions and actions and then the chakra is Kal Chakra In these things, two things are very important, which is in your control, that is your thinking and feeling. If you have the control on those two things, probably the success is yours. You, nobody can stop that. What would you like to say about it? Absolutely right. It's very important. What is your mindset? And mindset is created through circumstances, environment, experiences, what you gather in life, uh, what you read, what you see, uh, 
uh, and and what is your intuition is all about that's how you develop a mindset and 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 there you also uh, develop a, a a product called conviction because if all these things are moving together and they unite together and and come to a conclusion then you have a very strong conviction and yes. you can only move forward with that strong determination with that conviction that now yes i have to do it it's my job i have to do it i must do it i will do it now all that is required to be successful in at any this kind of a project running your own business is different subject mind you but planning something for the nation planning something for the industry is actually altogether a different thing you have to have a, that kind of a aptitude also that i am meant for my nation my country is my country this industry is my industry i am meant for this industry then you probably you can think like that because why should anyone think about the nation and the a, a national projects like this or you know something like that so you have to have even that kind of a mindset and this all credit i must give back to my parents to my school especially where Absolutely. the thinking you know the thinking which has been developed inducted into my system that you are meant for the nation nation is meant for you your your school uh, scouts in a kind of a training your ncc training your you know yes. everything matters everything yes. matters absolutely you 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 i i may not be a politician i may not be a a leader but at least i have that feeling i had, my school inducted that feeling into me that we all must work for our nation we all must work for the people of this country i mean you 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 are a warrior with the word yes, you which absolutely. you beautifully used yes you are a warrior and you don't have to be in the war all the time your yes. day to day affairs is another civil war with your yes. own self absolutely 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 you have Mahabali. to work with the circumstances it's a war actually absolutely absolutely and as and, i already and, mentioned uh, mahabaji that so happy i have already uh, uh, mentioned that you are the warrior of life and gone through struggles and finally uh, achieved and created what you wanted to impact the life of others and i have heard you saying that you have created such kind of slavery and the time bound achievement of the reject for the your students that you are in a way creating the warriors being a warrior creating the warriors and that's a immense feeling for a person that if you can create someone who is an action taker who is fierce who is fearless and can achieve anything in the life Oh, Colonel Raghav, the the struggle never ended here because yes, never. Once, once allotments started, when we, we there was a, allotments which were given to different people on my recommendation, then later, yes. and uh, I, even I was allotted a land ultimately. Uh, <laughs> the the best part is that the whole city, Delhi, Noida, suburban state people from the suburban states, and especially the media, from the from the day one, they started writing film city fail ho gayi. फिल्म सिटी सही फिल्म सिटी ये बेकार है ये जमीन के टुकड़े पड़े रह जाएंगे यहाँ काम नहीं होगा अरे गिव अस टाइम यू नो द बेस्ट पार्ट इज दैट पीपल दे डोंट इवन वांट टू गिव यू टाइम टू ग्रो आई नो वो कहते हैं आज बीज लगाया है कल सुबह उठते ही आम जो है उसमें से पैदा होके बाहर आ जाए नहीं हमारे यहाँ जज करने वाले लोग बहुत जल्दी हो जाते हैं ना दे जज यू वेरी the yes, the worst part these circumstances, these circumstances are nothing the most important thing is the the hard words of the people around you they killing you before your birth absolutely i so agree they want to they want to cut the tree even before it has grown yes i yes. mean come on i had to shout i had to fight even with the media that time i say are you are you crazy you let the things come into the limelight let let studios be completed let uh, give us some time to uh, prove ourselves aaj to zameen mili hai how do you expect it tomorrow morning madhuri dikshit is going to dance on this barren land <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely nothing happens and that is what the journey is all about of the life and i can understand mama ji every word of yours 
I can experience the emotions behind that. What you must have said. Imagine government gave us three years time to build up the studios and to come into production. For all yeah. those three years, remember 900 days, I probably must be having at least 500 cuttings of those days, which which been printed by the best of the newspapers and the and the smallest and the biggest of the newspapers, mentioning that film city fail away. <laughs> and I had to explain them three years government has given us to build up the studio, let the studios be there. <laughs> no, they're not ready to listen. <laughs> they, they, know, uh... they were expecting that so, uh, film city ki sadak ke upar jo sunny oh, diol aur uh, 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 padmini puri wahi pe dance karenge <laughs> so the See. mindset of the people though actually it was nothing it was a over expectation yeah. of the people around our areas people also, thought film city uh, yeah, the I'll... people became restless they wanted to see stars they wanted to see happening. They wanted to see shootings right then and there. So, um, so um, I mean, even I had to uh, play some games. During even my construction, I conducted one or two shootings there, which, okay. which brought a lot of limelight to Marva Studios. <laughs> I know, I know. In fact, Mabaji, uh, that was the time in 83, uh, we also moved. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, we both are of the same age group. Uh, I think you are... Uh, born in 60, I am born in 61. So, uh, we, that time is only I for higher education. I moved from my uh, uh, native place, district, Aliga to uh, Gaziabad. And we used to hear big things about this film city and your name also you used to read in the newspapers and all. And I recollect those things uh, the way you are telling that uh, people uh, are uh, habitual to censorize the things that your film city is failed or other things. So some uh, memories of, of course, I also have this. But uh, for the benefit of the viewers, let me just tell you that some of the awards which uh, Dr. Marwa has received in today's times over the period of time. Uh, with your permission, Marwa ji, can I just read some of the things? Uh, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that uh, uh, Dr. Marwa has already received seven world records in connection with this uh, Noida Film City. The first is that he has already churned out around 4,500 television programs uh, for 50 channels, 120 feature films, 5,000 training films in last 25 years, which is a record of sort. Sir, let me correct it because now it's, yeah. it's good. It's been, it's been 31 years okay. uh, uh, we have been running a studio. Let yeah. me give you uh, offhand, I still yeah. remember it. I, yeah. I don't have to read these things. But yeah. then the best part is that the film city, which was outright rejected by the people, by media, by press, as a, as a, 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 a failure project. Let, yeah. me, let me tell all your uh, yeah, please. Uh, viewers that yeah, please. Today, Noida Film City is the fastest growing film city in the world. Yeah. We are on the world map of cinema. When yeah. you make a world map of cinema, Noida Film City uh, takes the largest chunk of the colors uh, yes. uh, on the world map. Today, I can comfortably say that this 100-acre complex uh, city, 75 acres outdoor, 25 acres is indoor, 16 studios. Out of 16 studios, 350 channels are being broadcast to 162 countries, 24 by 7. The 17,000 media professionals, they're working in this film city in three uh, shifts of eight hours each. The cascading effect is that approximately 1,50,000 people today, directly or indirectly, earning their bread because of this film city. Fantastic. And I think, I, and I think uh, I cannot be given a better statistics than then. And I have an open challenge that no film city on this earth has given these kind of stat statistics so far. So I'm so happy to be called the founder of Noida Film City. Absolutely, Thank you. absolutely. We are privileged and we are proud, uh, uh, Dr. Mawa, that uh, creating such a uh, avenues for the people to impact their lives, directly impacting their lives. And this is I'm talking about Noida Film City, but when it comes to Marva Studios, 
Uh, yes. Out of Marva Studios, as you very well read, that we have already churned out 4,500 television programs for more than 50 channels. We are associated with around about 125 feature films in nine different languages, yes. and uh, uh, around about 5,000 training films which we have prepared for Marva Studios. And my production company has made 3,300 short films, and we have given opportunity to more than 10,000 filmmakers from more than 100 countries of the world. These are the statistics of Marva Studios. Yes, but then yes. that was not the end of the game because uh, after working in studios for two years, I realized that all that paraphernalia, which is coming up in Noida Film City, worth thousands of crores, um, uh, it may not go waste if there is no manpower to work. Yes. So, and that was a time in 1993, I decided to launch the first ever film school in private sector in this country. I mean, I've been, I've been called fool many times uh, <laughs> at the time of Film City. When I started the studios, people even quoted that now these all big buildings are going to be the stock rooms for food grains for Food Corporation of India uh, because there's, there's going to be no shooting in this part of the country. So I had to prove wrong. I had to prove people wrong that what the idea which I have uh, initiated, the, the project which I have thought many years back has brought so much to the nation, so much to media and entertainment industry, so much to humanity, so much to education. And in 1993, the first ever uh, uh, private film school of the country. So the first studio, professional studio of North India, the first film city of North India, the first private film school of North India, they all been now in functioning. And Film and film school people thought it's a government job. Why a private guy should get into a film training? Because film training is one of the most expensive training on earth after aeronautics. Or Hawaii Jaj Chala Sikhane ke baad agar sabse mehengi koi education hai to wo film ki hoti hai. Or Sari Dunya ke andar zada se zada jo school hai wo unki sarkare chalati hai. The government, they are running the film schools. But in yes. this case, when I entered into uh, film school, people objected, they criticized, they could not believe, they thought I am a fraud. But I am so happy to cut short. Uh, yesterday, we have completed 29 years of our education. And I'm so happy that uh, AAFT has become the first film university of my country. Absolutely, and, absolutely. And today, today, AAFT is an international brand. We have already churned out 19,000 media professionals hailing from 145 countries of the world. And we have been rated as the first 10 best film schools of the world yes. with nine world records. And uh, the, the seven records have been cleared, two records in pipeline. And okay. let me tell you, because uh, yet to be cleared, but they are already been declared as a world record because 30 years back, sir, I gave yeah. one word to English dictionary called film tourism. And oh, people, yeah. even that time, could not believe what is this film tourism is all about. Yeah. But I'm so happy today, every country is talking about film tourism. Okay. okay. And to okay. give honor to my term, I have so far, in a span of all these 30 years, I've been able to attract 30 lakh people to Noida Film City under film tourism. What an achievement. What an achievement. I'm, I'm happy Government of India has uh, nominated me as the Managing Director of National Federation of Tourism and Transport Cooperatives of India Limited. I'm okay. on this designation and working on a, on a national level on the tourism. I'm also very happy Government of India has nominated me as the National Chairman for Media and Entertainment Upgradation Committee. Because I have yes. this is a one national committee, all 28 um, states, nine union territories, and 10 segments of media, print, radio, television, cinema, new media, OTT, theme park, events, media education, piracy, all that. Uh, and we are sent, uh, setting standards. And uh, yes. number 60 people are working with me, and uh, 14 uh, different uh, ministries are involved with me under uh, uh, my chairmanship. And I'm working on this upgradation of the whole media in this country and putting up standards. What are the, going to be the standards in Indian media and entertainment industry? I'm very happy that government has also nominated me as the chancellor of the university. Yes. I mean, they could have nominated any union minister uh, yes. uh, to be the chancellor of the, uh, this university. Rather, the governor of the state is actually the chancellor of the 
university. But in this case, I'm happy government has made me chancellor because this is a wonderful step because government thought that they need some professional to run a, yes. a, a film university like a, 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 yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful to my government for uh, giving me uh, uh, large responsibilities and, and, and bestowing upon uh, me uh, these uh, powers and uh, uh, these uh, designations so that I can do more, more for my nation. And this is how I've been working. Uh, God has been very kind. And so there's a lot of support from my friends, from my relatives, from my people, my workers, my students, and people like you, to whom even I don't know, they still love us. <laughs> Well, no doubt, no denying the fact, Mahavaji, that kind of commendable job you are doing to the nation, to the people, to the uh, uh, impacting the lives around yourself. And, uh, it means uh, one has to uh, recognize you, there is no doubt. In fact, uh, I would like to hear again uh, something which you are doing uh, for the globe, uh, for the universe, for the world, uh, as a cultural minister. I think uh, you can add up with this same thing because that is also important part that how globally you are making a one single village of uh, people. Uh, Karnasa, we in 19, uh, 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 2014, we started this uh, Chamber of Commerce called International Chamber of Media and Entertainment Industry. The idea was to support the vision of our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, to have best of the relation possible with each and every country of the world. So yes. this chamber created 196 committees in 2014, and we started working with each and every country. I'm very happy in a span of all these eight years, we've been able to uh, touch 145 countries so far. Uh, I've already been to around 40, 50 countries uh, myself, and uh, people from 145 countries, they have already touched our studios or our institution or, or our one or other organization. And, um, and, and the best part is out of this, uh, uh, 66 countries, we have already completed the uh, formalities where we have created an uh, uh, Indo country uh, culture forum, uh, where we have uh, uh, roped in uh, the, the, the most important people of those countries, sometimes the presidents, prime ministers, deputy prime minister, vice presidents, uh, governors, union ministers, member parliaments, and then the ambassadors and high commissioners of those uh, uh, countries. And I'm very lucky that uh, these uh, governments of 66 countries, they have so far already shown a deep interest and trust in us, and they have nominated me as their cultural ambassador uh, to look into the development and promotion of art and culture together uh, with India and their respective country. So um, uh, I'm very happy uh, that there's a huge uh, chunk of work now on my table. And every day we are dealing with the uh, uh, foreign nations. Every day we are dealing with art and culture. And this is what exactly I was looking for. Trust me. Uh, I know. I yeah. know because... Uh, Everyone looks for uh, to expand his capability and capacity and which you have been doing day by day. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I think you are chairing as of now more than 100 organizations as of now. Yeah. So I can well imagine the kind of commitment and kind of involvement you have, uh, not only in India, it's a world over that globally the commitment you have. Fantastic. So the, best, the best part is that Marva Studio is a family of 20,000 media professionals and uh, uh, our reach has uh, gone to uh, 2 million people on a daily basis and uh, probably 20 million on a yearly basis. So we are, we are expanding the activities, we are propagating, we are, we are selling uh, Indian culture to the rest yes. of the world. We're trying to bring best of the uh, cultures of other countries to India. We are involved with uh, every art you can think of. My next world record is going to be because I've completed 7,500 so far. Uh, the, every event uh, uh, speaks about love, peace, and unity through uh, art and culture. Marwaji, Marwaji, this uh, 7,500, again, you can repeat it because of network, it got missed out. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, I said this is going to be my next world record because uh, we have completed 7,500 events uh, okay. so far, uh, okay. which, which covers all sort of genre, workshops, seminars, okay. symposium, okay. interaction okay. programs, okay. Uh, festivals, uh, art shows, uh, uh, sculpture shows, painting competition. I mean, you can, whatever you can think of, music recital, dance recitals. Uh, of our own country, as well as of uh, uh, different countries of the world. Uh, and we have, we have touched more than uh, uh, 20 million uh, audience uh, in last 30 years. And, uh, and, and, the, and the show must go on. The fact is- Yes, so on. must go on, so must go on. In yeah. fact, one more record I would like to you to only tell, because you are the best person uh, and you have been part of that. The 2010-19 Commonwealth Games. Ah. <laughs> How did you cover the entire country and uh, became the torch bearer? Uh, you may like to tell the viewers. They will love. Thank it. you, Kanasa, for reminding me that okay. in 2010 I realized that uh, the, uh, this is going to be the biggest event of the country in last so many years. I mean, I've never seen such a huge event. We 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 watch. Uh, 26th January, and we, we we get involved with 15th August, but they're too small. Uh, the size of the event in front of uh, the Commonwealth Games, which was happening in 2010, we wanted to get associated with the whole affair. Uh, there was a, a tender for uh, covering Queen's Baton Relay uh, for all over India. And uh, when different tenders were open, the last tender when they open, it says, for the nation, one rupee. Oh, yeah, father. <laughs> and a, a program which is worth covering maybe millions of rupees. We opted only for one rupee because I wanted to do uh, it associated with Commonwealth coverage. So right from Vaga border. Mar Marvaji, Marvaji, I must say that this must be a sort of record that someone, some businessman quoted one rupee for the sake of nation. <laughs> because I wanted to do it. Yeah. It is, we, we started covering, there were only two parties which were covering the whole show. One Doordarshan for their 34 channels and one Marwa Studios for rest of the world. Yes. And right from Vaga border to Nehru Stadium, we covered 28 states, five union territories, 20 thousands, and uh, 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 we clicked thousand pictures. We made one thousand radio programs, one hundred and two short films in one hundred and two days. And the opening film of the Commonwealth Games was also made by us. And nine hundred people were uh, uh, selected to run with the baton. And one I opted from Jaipur to Delhi with the baton. I ran there. And and then and and seventy five of my students. Uh, were involved uh, in supporting foreign media to cover rest of the things and we created a world record for ourselves Absolutely. no film television media art culture association committee business house television center ever covered such a huge coverage at one given time in 100 and non-stop 102 days and that created a world record i'm happy uh, government honored me with this whole affair I've got a large number of certificates and a gold baton, which I received from government. Uh, and, and, and it became a world record, no doubt. The best part is that it gave us immense satisfaction. Absolutely. And it was not over here, sir, by the way, because 102, we used to uh, shoot eight hours a day, eight hours film. And out of that, we used to edit in the evening, one and a half minute out of eight hours. And that one and a half minute, we used to hand it over to Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth uh, Games Office. And they used to send across that one and a half film to 196 countries to broadcast on their national broadcasters. So Marwa Studio was on, on almost 200 channels every day for 102 days all over the world. For 102 uh, two times, which is which made Marva Studio an international brand. Absolutely, absolutely. The effort, kind of effort, and kind of dedication and commitment you had, the way you won that tender and finally got involved because you wanted to be part of that. And uh, uh, this is uh, absolutely commendable. 
one thing I would like to know, what was the significance of 102? Because 102 days, 102 programs, 102 radio stations, and 102 countries. No, the, the countries nahi, country nahi, 102 because the, the, the athletes, 900 okay. people who okay. were selected to run with the baton, yeah. they, they took 102 days to cover uh, the movement of baton from Vaga border uh, covering all the 20,000 kilometers from 28 states and five nice. union territories and reaching back to Nehru Stadium. Yeah, yeah. It took 102 days. Yes, yes. Then 100, 102 program, 102 short films, 102 days of world record. Because we made one radio program every day, one short film every day. Oh, this is okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Yeah. So 102 become a synonymous with the this 10th, uh, 2010 Commonwealth Games. Mahavaji, I, I, I believe that, that uh, you have already published two wonderful books, which is uh, Work in the Corridor of Eternity. Another one is Man of uh, this thing, Life and Work of uh, Dr. Mahava. And the one which is with me is another compilation of on your, the viewers can see this. It is Man of Compassion and Understanding by uh, this is some Sushil Bharti. It's a wonderful book. In fact, uh, I got as a present from uh, Dr. Mahava. And uh, Dr. Mahava, I know that you are a human being, of course, but for the humanity, you can go to any extent. These books which you have written, again, uh, for the humanity. And uh, let me correct the you. These books are written by other writers on okay. me. Oh, okay, perfect. So, uh, this is not uh, an auto, this is a biography. Yeah, this is a biography, first class. And uh, uh, of course, that uh, uh, your work which says is that you, whatever you're doing is mostly right from your beginning, in fact, from your childhood, from your schooling, from your uh, college, everywhere you have shown that angle of humanity because of your uh, bringing up by your uh, mother and the father, your teacher, all have been uh, that kind of person. And of course, Theater, uh, film, and art always teaches you the humanity. With this uh, thought, uh, you have created an organization now which is called World Peace Development and the Research Foundation. And I know the biggest uh, uh, in this uh, thing, the important thing is that you wanted to create love, peace, and the unity uh, through the art and culture. It's a huge responsibility and a huge vision, I must say. Uh, you would like to share with you this thought to your uh, viewers because this is something which under the present scenario of the world where the conflicts are immense uh, between the people, between the nations and between the uh, everything what you say and the thought of this kind that where you want to bring the world peace, love and unity. I think Mahabaji, this is commendable. You may like to throw some light. Yeah, a few years back, uh, it was a, a, a very conscious decision where we thought that it's very important because responsibility of films, television, media is much, much higher than any other business on earth. Because uh, media develops a wonderful perception and it can spoil your perception also. And I realized that uh, being a media person, being an important part of this uh, uh, film and media fraternity, it is very important to uh, develop a wonderful environment by bringing in people and talking about love, peace, and unity. And that's how we change the pattern of our uh, uh, events. We change the pattern of our productions. We change the pattern of our education. Probably this is the only film school in the world, AAFT, where spiritual education is given along with the uh, film education along with the law, along with the uh, business school, along with the uh, hospitality and tourism school, along with the fashion and design school. And if you start talking about spirituality and start bringing Mahatmas and Gurus directly, probably today's uh, generation, they may not be able to bear it. So, uh, so we, we amalgamated spirituality uh, along with the respective education in a, the most uh, respective, beautiful, and in a subtle way. And that makes even my students very humble, down to earth, polite, nice to talk, uh, hardworking, honest, respectful. And this is what you're looking for. I mean, as a, as a uh, uh, citizen of my country, 
I would love to see that the next generation should be a very nice, good people of this country. And why not? And, yes, and, why not? And, why and not? as an educationist, it's my responsibility to churn out uh, best of the product from my institution. When my school and colleges, uh, they are proud of me, why, why shouldn't I be feel proud of my students? So this is what came into my mind and we created this beautiful organization where we have large number of spiritual leaders from all over the world. People uh, whom you can actually count on your fingers. They all are part and parcel of this World Peace Development and Research Foundation. The job of this foundation is to, uh, to see to it that uh, you know, all the uh, 100 courses running in the universities and all the 14 colleges of Marva Studios, they must have a spiritual angle. The job of this is that every activity which takes place in Marva Studios must have a spiritual angle. Uh, anything and everything what we sponsor, we sponsor uh, as a Marva Studios must have a touch of spirituality. If not, then we try to induct. I mean, if you want me to sponsor a program, then they, you have to have a, this kind of a, a, a Thought process. Uh, thought process, which, yeah. which, which should be a human angle, which should be a yes. human angle. And uh, so the, slowly and gradually, I'm very happy that we've been able to rope in uh, uh, probably all the countries of the world. We conducted more than 200 webinars, uh, even during pandemic, uh, uh, music programs, music recital, dance recital. And, and I'm so happy that when you talk about Indian culture, you don't have to think about spirituality again, because the Indian culture itself speaks about, is... yeah, it speaks about uh, uh, the world unity. It speaks yeah. about uh, 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 you know the love and peace. It speaks about uh, bringing people together. So Indian culture is the best culture, I tell you. And and, and Basudeva Kutumba. Exactly, you said it, and this is what we we believe in, and we are the oldest generation, oldest civilization on earth. So that means the uh, ten thousand years back, uh, we've been talking about that uh, we are one family. Yes. So this this is this is how we have brought, and th th that's one of the one of the uh, setup which is which keep on injecting us, keep on reminding us uh, on our day to day affairs, on our activities on our presentations. And I'm very happy that uh, 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 it has made us a good human being. And people who are associated with me in this organization, they all are very nice. We keep on conducting sessions, talks. We keep on uh, exchanging thoughts. And trust me, when we do these kind of events, we have people from all religion. We have people from all caste and creed. We have people from every nook and corner and we all talk about humanity and we forget about our personal religions. True international integration, I must say. Yes. Yeah. In fact, with these, uh, in this, uh, I would like uh, you to recite those two lines which you normally say in Hindi. Sabhi disaon se shubh oh. sundar. Sabhi disaon se shubh sundar. Bhav vichar bhare nit antar. And this is yeah. what I believe yeah. in, that, hey, Lord, give us good thinking, give us good feelings so that I can do good deeds. And through my good karmas, I would love to convert this earth into heaven. Fantastic. Viewers, you must listen and uh, understand the each word, the, what a deep meaning it has got. And that is what he has been following and he has been propagating. And we need the people like this too create that world of unity, peace. Uh, Dr. Baba, uh, I think it's quite a... Yeah, yeah we uh, just uh, one or two more and then we uh, can wind up. Uh, I know that uh, Dr. Baba, you have a great love for the uniform because in your schooling, uh, you have been a part of NCC. You have been a scout. You have been uh, part of Delhi Police, and uh, I think uh, you have been uh, other uh, like paramilitary forces as well. So, with this, the, when you talk about the uniform, though you uh, as a, your upbringing, as a schooling, you had a disciplined life, there is no doubt. But this uh, side of yours, where you 
have been part of NCC and police and all, showed that extreme respect and extreme uh, uh, culmination of discipline within the group. So how do you manage your this discipline life with so much of responsibility, uh, chairing the hundreds of organization world over and managing the time and other things? Uh, you may like to give some tips to our viewers. Kanasa, the best part is that uh, I'm chairing 100 organization. I attend probably six or 10 meetings every day. Uh, and you can check everywhere. I am never late in my... I know. Uh, my, my reaching any of these meetings. I make I it seen. a point because that's your first step of discipline, being punctual. Absolutely. Absolutely. And today when this whole webinar was getting late, trust me, I was sweating in my arms because I, uh, I, this problem, this is the first time that uh, because of this glitch internet, we got late and we couldn't start in time. So I was rather feeling so embarrassed. So it, this it, is, it was beyond our control. Yeah, but this is how, this is inbuilt that... Uh, Punctuality, regularity, sincerity, and dedication, they are four pillars of success. How intelligent you may be, how well-educated you may be, if you are not going to be punctual, regular, sincere, or dedicated, you can never become a big man. I'm, I have yet to see, I have yet to see any prime ministers of the country, any president of the country who, who are entering late into the programs. Yes. Never, never. never. I mean, when there are international meets, everyone is trying to be five minutes before the scheduled time. Absolutely. And that's what the spirit is. I mean, don't you see on television every day, prime ministers meet, presidents meet, yes, yes. Uh, officials meet, everyone comes in time. Because see, that's this is what you have to learn. And, yes. and this is what I'm trying to teach every day. This is, this is a very important part of my curriculum in my own colleges. Punctuality is the first step to discipline. Well, everything started with scouts in school, NCC in school, NCC in then college. Then I was a special police officer. The best part is that I was nominated uh, 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 way back uh, by Lieutenant Governor Daly as the honorary officer. And I joined uh, Daly Home Guards, the paramilitary force, as a battalion commander. And I, I, I gave my eight and a half years to, uh, to the force and I rose up to the level of district commandant and when I became district commandant I was the youngest colonel in India and I and that's I love uniform I have a lot of respect for people in uniform I and uh, probably that. that's one of the reason I said yes the minute you say <laughs> I want to interview I says yes sir <laughs> and, <My privilege. laughs> yeah. and and that's how and today I'm very happy that I'm coming I'm back into the uniforms again Oh. Uh, because uh, I have been nominated now as the Chief Scout for India. Yeah, I, know, I, know, I know. It's a beautiful organization. We have around about uh, 5.1 5 million students from 100,000 schools who, who, are, who are now part and parcel of Scouts and Guides, which is my organization. I'm chairing this organization in India as a Chief Scout for India. And uh, I'm upgrading this whole, uh, uh, the whole organization I'm, I'm trying to put in a lot of into it, reviving all the nooks and corners, all the system, rules, regulation, all the activities. And, and I very soon you'll realize that Scouts and Guide is a very bubbling, the youngest uniformed body of the nation. <laughs> very right, uh, Mahabaji. In fact, the, uh, the importance you told about the time, because the time is the only thing with all of us which is limited. Rest, everything is abundant in this universe, whether it is money or anything. But the time is the only thing which is absolutely limited. But more than the time, there is another very important thing, Marbaji, which is your health to make your dream life. The health is another important part of it. Absolutely. How do you take care of your health part? Because let people know at this age, having so much of responsibility, being on time everywhere and meeting your commitments. Now, the most important thing is sir, that you have to, you see, there is a very old proverb, you are what you think, you are what you eat. Yes. So, so your body and your mind uh, is made out of two things, what you think and what you eat. So you have to be very conscious what you eat, you have to uh, uh, plan your diet, 
uh, you have to, uh, if, if need to be, you must consult your, your dietitian, uh, someone who's much uh, more intelligent than you, as far as uh, your eating habits are concerned. Uh, a little bit of exercise is required every day to keep yourself active and alert, which is very important. But even if it's a walking for half an hour, it should would be enough uh, for, for anyone to keep fit. The most important thing is that how you how you plan your uh, uh, whole day affairs. Uh, you have to divide your uh, uh, eight or nine or ten hours of working in a very systematic manner. When you you can comfortably finish one job in one hour, so you can finish at least ten jobs in a in a day. Even after everything. Uh, you can uh, meeting your family, meeting your uh, 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 friends commitment, meeting your uh, sleeping commitments, your home, uh, 10 working hours are required for people to prove that they can do better than an ordinary man is required and, and divide your day into 10 timetables. You, you must have a timetable with you, which, which is my habit. I prepare a timetable that in these 10 hours, I will finish these 10 jobs today. And, and that makes me uh, alert, active, and finish my jobs too. In fact, Babaji, I have a personal question here. When you said that you have a 10 hours and uh, you can uh, finish one task in one hour, like when I started researching on you, it took me whole day <laughs> to... <laughs> So I failed exceptions, in that. Exceptions are always there. <laughs> that become instead of task become a project for moving. In fact, to know more about you so that it become a worthwhile. Finally, Marbaji, the last question is this: that change is the only constant, and we have to adapt the change in this uh, life uh, of uncertainty, because uh, life is full of uncertainty. And this we have seen in the last two years that because of the pandemic, there's a total uncertainty of the life and that everything gone upside down, upside down. But I believe you as a leader of your organization, you did not allow to miss for your student even a one hour of your learning or the teaching or the schooling, whatever you call it. How did you manage that during this change of pandemic? No, we are very lucky because we've been working on a, uh, uh, on a uh, internet and interaction systems uh, even before pandemic. So uh, we have an international film and television research center, which is uh, the first ever uh, research center in films and television in this country. And, uh, and, and the idea of preparing this program was like what we are talking now, Zoom, uh, the how to bring in foreign faculty uh, to classrooms uh, in a most comfortable way. We never knew there's going to be a pandemic. Uh, yeah, I, and when, when on 20th March, it was declared pandemic, and 22nd, we had to close down the institutions immediately. Trust yeah. me, we were actually well prepared. It took me okay. only one day for okay. people to go back home. When they reached okay. back home, and we took okay. attendance on WhatsApp. And, okay. uh, and the next day we say, be alert, open your mobiles, open your laptops, desktops, whatever you have, and there we are. And we, the next, after exactly one day, we started our classes. That's and fantastic. we never wasted even one day of education. Uh, and my students were more than happy. And they were, they were uh, because we could interact with them during these all 18 uh, tough months of this pandemic where we could not actually see each other. But, and, and then we gave a beautiful uh, statement to our students not to worry about it. We are open from Monday to Sunday from 9 to 10. And anytime you have anything which you think is left or is not being able to understand by you, you're most welcome to come back to us. My faculty, my administration, my studios, my, my, my um, and the, the complete uh, skill development because these are skill development courses also side by side. So all studios were open, radio station, television station, everything was open for students to come back and learn as much as they can. No restriction, no extra money, no extra uh, 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 attendances. Yeah, um, uh, the institution bear the whole losses, all the expenditures. 
Uh, and and I'm very happy that my each and every single student has been given attention by the faculty, by the administration, and we saw to it that everyone must cover up if there is any loss of education for any reason better known to them. So wonderful, Mahavaji. In fact, viewers, you can understand that the wide spectrum of the questions he has answered so transparently. In fact, some of the things which he has confessed, probably nobody might have got it out from him that such a minute detail starting from his early struggle to the middle struggle and thereafter the success stories and how he managed throughout the crisis of whether it is pandemic or managing the people or the managing the world over and humanizing the education, creating the world peace, unity, everything. So uh, I think this must have been a great education for whether you are an educationist, you are a filmmaker, you are a student, you are a businessman or entrepreneur. Mahabaji, I think uh, uh, it would, would be a great learning uh, listening to you by my viewers. And thank you so much for the, everything you have said today. Thank you very much, uh, Colonel Tyagvi Raghav Sahib. Uh, 